What is up guys welcome back to my new video in today's video I'm going to tell you how you can unlock the bootloader of your Poco X3 Pro the smartphone I have right now and also install TWRP in this like right now I have done that and also how to flash any custom room so let's get started in this video I'm going to show you how you can unlock the bootloader of your Poco X3 Pro so right now you guys can see I have a Poco X3 Pro with a boot and you know logged bootloader to check that you just need to tap on MIUI version for Poco and then you need to scroll down and tap on additional settings developer options and then MI unlock status you guys can see the device is logged and it is secured now do note while unlocking the bootloader your device will you know reboot and also all the data will be cleared so for that in case you're using whatsapp go here go in settings in settings you guys should go in chat in chat go in chat backup and do a backup it's very very helpful if you want to backup your data and you have wi-fi it's going to be very easy now how to unlock the bootloader first of all as i showed you you have to be in settings and you have to enable this option called ome unlocking just enable this option and now you basically need the smartphone itself a pc is very important it is required without the pc the bootloader will not be unlocked but yeah, if you're new, make sure you watch this step at least so that you can borrow someone's laptop and unlock the bootloader. And you need the official cable of Poco. This is not necessary. You use the official cable. You can use the unofficial cable as well. But if you want to be on the safer side, use the official cable. It is a lot more secure and the speed is also very fast. So now let's just plug in the cable to the PC. Just plug in like that. Pick up the cable which I just fell down and connect your smartphone to the pc okay connecting right now is not very important just keep it like that and now on the pc what you have to do is you have to go in chrome so let me just show you live step by step process so go in chrome type here am i unlock okay just type here am i unlock i'm typing with one hand that is the problem am i unlock tool just type it like that let me just uh, disable this you know volume because otherwise the volume will be too much as you guys can see the MI unlock is right now and here you guys can see apply for permissions to unlock MI devices tap on it and download the MI unlock tool it will start downloading you guys can see this is the tool you can uh, you know obviously unzip it and extract the folder after that is done like I have already downloaded the MI unlock what you need to do is go here go in your download section so you guys can see in my download section yeah there you go here you guys can see this is the MI Unlock itself, the MI Unlock EN 5 point whatever. Just tap on this, double tap on this. You guys can see it shows Batch Unlock. Now that's what we are going to use to unlock our Poco X3 Pro. Before unlocking, make sure you just, first of all, okay, that's very important stuff is, first of all, connect your smartphone to the PC. So let me just connect here. There you go. And now it will start charging. So you have to tap on Data transfer like file transfer once that is on you also need to do one more step that is go here in settings you have to go in advanced additional settings obviously in developer options and you have to enable one option called usb debugging this is very important without this your bootloader will not be unlocked you have to wait 10 seconds you can read all of this if you want to now this is very very important if you want to unlock the bootloader and install twrp in this video i'm going to show you both of the things so just tap on ok and now you guys can see usb debugging is on and the phone is recognized now once that is done like once usb debugging is on you just need to tap out then you guys need to actually just okay you have to first of all okay just don't worry about the pc right now keep it as it is and now you have to first of all hold the power button press on shut down okay wait 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 press on shut down and one more time shut down the smartphone will shut down okay now you guys can see it is shut down now you have to hold the power and the volume down buttons at the same time the power and the volume down just hold it hold the power and the volume down at the same time okay there you go now after holding the power and the volume down at the same time it will enter fast boot mode just keep your smartphone here for a while and now let's move on to the pc now in the pc you have to go in batch and lock as you guys can see this option tap on it double tap obviously double tap here and you guys can see it shows the device and the, it's like a bhima product it's locked now here you get you just have to press on unlock so just press on unlock three two one go 
it will say unlocking it will take a few seconds and boom you guys can see the bootloader animation is gone and that is also gone now basically the smartphone is unlocking you guys can see it is erasing all the data do not disconnect from pc right now just uh, wait for a few seconds and boom there you go now it is unlocked you guys can see that icon this basically means your device is unlocked successfully now after unlocking obviously as i told you all the data will be formatted so it will reboot the device normally as it should and after rebooting the device what you what we want to do is we want to install twrp now i'm going to show you how to install twrp as well in this video only so that you can get a full video of how to do both the things after that i will also make a video of how to install a rom in this using twrp that is also very very easy so let's just wait for miui to boot up in that time you guys can go in the description of the video and download a file named as let me show you the name of the file so you have to go in downloads and you can download the file named as poco x3 pro twrp you have to download this file so yeah you have to download that file by the time go download that file extract it and then okay let's just let me just show you you have to double tap on the file you have extracted and you will see a bunch of options here and by using this tool we are going to install twrp in the poco x3 pro this tool twrp installer and yeah if you want to root you can use magix as well but i i don't want to root so i'm not going to use magix i'm just waiting for it to boot up and don't panic it does take up a little bit of time while booting so don't panic there is nothing serious no problems at all it just takes up a bit of time boom there you go now you guys can see it's successfully booted up mio 12.5 is all yours and yeah just skip through this process okay it is actually not necessary to do this if you want to install a rom but right now i have to download a rom as well so if you want to install lineage os so right now i'm going to install lineage os you can install any other rom obviously it's up to you so go here type in like i have to install lineage os so just type in lineage okay ag lineage os i'm typing with one hand it's a little hard lineage os and yeah there you go it shows poco x3 pro type in on that and now you guys can see there will be actually a video i'm going to use that video to assess it and boom man my favorite youtuber is right now here so let's just uh, see this and where is it here you go we have the lineage os for poco x3 pro so now i'm going to download this rom the 2021 1029 build so let's just download this tap on the build and it will start downloading from here boom there you go it takes a very less time to download because it is only a 1 gb file and i have ethernet cable as well so it doesn't matter it will take up very little time now lineage os normal build also need g apps i'm going to install g apps it is a rm64 and android 11 pico version download it and uh, Let's see, this is also going to take up a few few seconds. By the time you can skip the setup or do whatever you like. So right now, let me just wait. There you go. It is also downloading the OpenG apps. Now, now after you are downloading OpenG apps, you can also download one more thing, which is Poco X3 Pro firmware. Now, I don't think it's very important because right now I am in this MIUI. But uh, yeah, that's why I'm not downloading the firmware. And yeah, this guy is just making incredibly good videos. You can subscribe to him, obviously. I just love the way he makes videos. It is really helpful and amazing. Munchy, a big thumbs up to you. Now, after downloading all of this, so obviously this video's purpose is not to how to install ROM. It is how to, you know, how to just install TWRP. Now, there is one thing very important you need to do. Just remove the cable. Okay, remove the cable. Put it back in. Now, this is very, very important. Put it back in. So I'm trying to put it in one with one hand. That's why. Just wait a second. Boom. There you go. And here, once it shows up this, you have to just press on file transfer. There you go. Now it has shown up in the PC. That's what you need to do. Now you don't even need to do the setup. You know what? Just tap on hold power button. Tap on shutdown. Shutdown. That's it. And now what you need to do is again hold the power and the volume down button. Hold it for a few seconds until and let it shows up the fast boot and you have to keep it wherever you want. Now what you need to do is you need to look at that speed man 10 MB per second incredibly good. Now you need to go here in the TWRP POCO X3 Pro folder I showed you and here once you are in this obviously you will be 
Now here once you are in this you have to tap on TWRP installer double tap on this and it will show you some instructions it shows you like you need to be in fast boot mode to assess this so right now as you guys can see I am in the fast boot mode so now what you need to do is you just need to go and tap on spacebar one more time spacebar and it will say sending recovery whatever and then one more time spacebar well, my camera is unable to focus i think there's might be an issue boom there you go now the smartphone will show up and yeah the last time space bar will exit that and boom there you go team win twrp successfully running in our poco x3 pro absolutely fine without a doubt without a problem now it will show up the device again and now you have to do a very important step don't use the twrp right now it will not work perfectly you have to ta hold this recovery Transfer it to the phone's internal storage. Okay, very important. Take up takes up a few seconds Then you have to hold this disable DM verify and transfer it to the phone's storage I am not going to boot or like root the smartphone right now It will boot obviously, but I'm not going to root that's so why I'm not using magics if you want to you can there's no problem in that Once you have successfully transferred both the files the DM verify and the TW, the recovery one you need to go in the smartphone in smartphone you need to tap on install go and in install image and here scroll down let me just wait here you have to scroll down and you will find recovery image recovery image tap on recovery okay recovery and swipe to flash recovery is flashed go back you will find again go back you will find install disable dm verify swipe to flash so it will take up a few seconds and then it will be flashed and the TWRP will work absolutely fine all your data storage everything will be showing will be showing up in this no doubt no problem in that so let's just wait for it to happen you guys can see cannot mount data just uh, don't worry about the errors it will do nothing bad now everything is installed now what I'm doing is like my purpose is I'm waiting for the lineage OS to download Okay, it is downloaded. That's really awesome. So I'm waiting for the G apps to download. By the way, the Lineage OS is downloaded. So I'm going to transfer the Lineage OS to the Poker X3 Pro. Easy way. You can also do it if you want to install any other custom ROM. So if you have successfully installed TWRP, this part is not necessary for you. So it is just like if I want to change the ROM where like right now. So here is the Lineage OS built. You guys can see. You just have to drag this. To the internal storage drag it it will take up a few seconds obviously because it is like 1 GB file that's why I don't know why open the apps is taking so much time it shouldn't take that much long to download because man that's just 100 MBs this guy was uh, like a GB it's downloaded very easily this guy is just a 100 MB and it's just getting very bad speed you know why because this is not very op optimized while well, this one was very very optimized that is the main thing now you guys can see it's actually transferred it's really fast in transferring stuff man that's really good so yeah i think it is yeah there you go lineage os is in my phone's internal storage right now it's 1.02 gb it does not have g apps that's why i'm installing this pico g apps so that's how you can install you know other rooms in this as well now i'm going to skip the video for a little bit wait until this completes and then i'm going to proceed further so right now I have just downloaded and see this is the open G apps Pico. it is downloaded now what you need to do is you need to go again the way I showed you just to go again there and then pick up this open G apps and transfer it to the phone storage it will take up a few seconds and boom there you go now you need to go on your phone in your phone you guys can see this is the phone itself now you need to go and install okay first of all go and wipe advanced wipe dalvik data catch and wipe it there you go go back install and install tap on lineage os press on add more zips tap on open g apps and flash it first of all it will flash lineage os and yeah it will flash very easily because you know what i'm already in miui that's why i'm not installing the firmware otherwise i would have to install the firmware because firmware is very very important so let's just wait for it to flash because it will take up a few seconds or a bit of time to flash and you know what this type of videos actually take up longer time than making the best custom room videos because for this video i need to do the process as fast as possible so that you guys can see it without wasting a lot of time 
and you know what i also need to do the process as you know informative as possible so that i cannot miss any other step which will cause problems and yes it is purely your choice to install any custom room i don't promote it but i'm also not held responsible for it if it is not working if your device is bricked not my problem you shouldn't do it i'm just doing it because it's really fun to test out new things obviously so that's one thing and yeah you know like there is a very little chance of getting devices bricked very very little normally devices don't get bricked very less chance is there but yes there is always a possibility so i just say that be cautious take precautions that's better oh. Now you guys can see this is installing the other part that is open g apps and that is absolutely very well installed the twr or you know the lineage os is installed it's trying to install the open g apps and i think it will be installed pretty well as well because yeah this is the pico edition the least uh, heavy edition and it should be installed pretty well it will take about a few seconds to install because yes g apps take up time to install simple thing now in the computer all your work is absolutely done you can close all the windows you don't need just close everything this app is also of no use close it and yeah you can shut down your pc there is no need of it now and there you go now it has flashed everything open g apps is uh, successfully flashed and yeah updating partition done we have also successfully flashed this rom 1.0 you guys can see that now you need to go back okay back wipe format data type in yes hi e s yes tap on tick boom there you go this tap on reboot system it will reboot for a um, like i'm going to show you the reboot as well because i don't want your time to be wasted now by the time you can turn off your pc there is no need of the pc right now everything is absolutely done pretty fine this is my very nice red gear mouse by the way i love it sorry for the camera noise and boom there you go we are booting up into lineage os let me just turn off my pc there you go and yeah we are booting up into lineage os everything is pretty awesome looking and i'm quite excited to try the new build it is pretty awesome i think it will be very worth it and yeah if this video gets 200 likes i'm going to make a lot of more videos about the poco xc pro and the best custom room video will also come because this video took so much time that's why the best custom room video is not coming right now but there you go it has booted up just set up and use that's pretty much it that's how you can do it and yeah i just love it pretty much it for today's video it took a really long time in making so subscribing will be amazing that's it thanks for watching catch in the next one peace out